Hi everyone. All right, we're live. About to get our swirk out on. I'm just gonna lace up. Let some people join us. Doesn't matter how little, how few people we have. We're gonna get our sweat on and then you can always catch the replay later. So all you need are some sneakers. You don't even need sneakers. All you need is your body weight and to show up. So you guys are halfway there because you're here. Yay, Vanessa! You ready? All right, so just put on my shoes. I don't know why I'm putting on shoes because I never wear shoes. Like half my workouts, I don't have shoes on, but I've decided to put shoes on today. So let me lace up and put on my shoes. Hi, Michelle, yay! All right, so we're gonna have some fun today, you guys. We're gonna sweat. This will be available for replay later. So for those of you that um, are catching this, not able to catch us live, it'll be available later. And this is just gonna be a little taste into what we have in store. I'm just gonna explore some live workouts because I figure, you know what, I'm getting in my workout and if it can inspire any of you to move or dig a little bit deeper, that's what this is all about. So, hi Amy. All right, so all you need is, like I said, to show up and be here, have the determination, no weight is necessary, only your own body weight. So I'm just lacing up here, testing my balance at the same time. What did you guys think of those bicep curls? What'd you guys think? Right? So first you test the balance, then you start adding in some movement. Before you know it, you can do some pendulum stretches. So you can do the triceps and the biceps. Check it out. Biceps, triceps, biceps, triceps. And then you also get some glute activity there. So, all right. So today, you guys, I got it all on this magical grease board. This is gonna become my new best friend. This is a teaching tool. Not only can I put the workouts on here for everyone, I can teach you guys some things, such as this. Here's a little bit of motivation before we get started. So, success. Do you guys think that it looks like this? Or like this? Woo! Which one? Does it look like this? Or does it look like fall back up? What do you guys think? What do you think? Does it look like this one or like this one? Success. That's my question for you. What do you think? Which one does it look like? Success, people think that it's gonna look like this. Or maybe they feel like if it doesn't go like this for them, that they're failing. Success actually looks like exactly, Vanessa, it's like this. Success is we're gonna fall and then we're gonna get back up and then we're gonna fall and we're gonna get back up and then we're gonna fall harder and get back up. But success is the fact that it doesn't matter how hard you fall, you crash and you burn, you get yourself back up and you keep on moving. That is success right there. So you guys, the fact that you're here showing up, making it happen, are already such a huge success. So, are you guys ready? All right, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put this board right here so I can see what we're doing. I've got everything mapped out for us. So, you guys ready? All right, let's do this. Let's see, can you guys see everything's good? Got some action, you see my water right there? Okay, we're good. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and start with a minute warm up. So do whatever you need to do to move your body. All right, so swirk out means we're gonna work out we're gonna sweat, we're gonna get that heart rate going, we're gonna do whatever it takes to make it happen, get it done, all right? It doesn't take much, you guys know that, it doesn't take a gym, do whatever it takes, jump up and down, run in place, get those arms moving, full body, inhale and exhale, so many people forget to breathe, all about that breath, that breath is gonna power you through, so keep it moving, just one minute, all right? Keep it going, side twist, do whatever it takes. All you gotta do is move. It's like people have excuses and they're like, I don't have a gym, I don't have time for a gym. It's like, what do you need to do this? You can do this anywhere. And have fun when you've got amazing people to do it with. So, all right, 10 more seconds. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Don't forget to breathe, you guys. That breath is gonna make you dig a little bit deeper and make it so much more realistic. That inhale and that exhale, when you think you can't do something, 
take that breath and it's gonna allow you to go a little bit further. All right, so now we're warmed up. You guys feel it? You guys starting to sweat already? Whew. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it down to a plank. So what this is gonna look like, you're in a plank position. Plank, you're gonna jump up, you're gonna jump back, you're gonna open, you're gonna close them, all right? So we're gonna get 10 of these. So plank, core is engaged, full body. Bring those legs up, jump up, jump back, open, shut one, jump up, jump back, open, two, up, back, open, three, up, back, open, four, up, back, open, six, up, did I skip? Open, that's six, there we go, one, and back, open, that's seven, up, and back, open, that's eight, two more, up, and back, open, and in, up, and back, and open, and in, woo, all right, you guys, holding this plank here, if you need to drop down to your knees, you can always modify, don't forget that, okay, so up on those toes, if you're with me, nice push up into a side plank, let's go, take it down, push up, open that arm up, right arm up towards the sky, and down, push up, left side, open up, and down, push up, up, here's three, push up, you've got this, four, here's down, five, down, six, down, side plank, seven, down, eight, two more, down, side, and down, last one, and up. Jump up towards those hands. Let's get in 20 jump squats, all right? Jump squats, so keeping those feet nice and wide. Jumping up, here we go for 20. Let's go, here's one, two, three, four, come on, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Standing knee to elbow. What I want you to do here, knee to elbow. So nice wide stance. Hands are over here. Bring that knee in towards your elbow. Let's get ten. One, two, squeeze those abs. Three, four, five, six, seven. Crunch those abs. Eight, nine, and ten. Right into that other side. Let's go. Extend up. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From right there, we're going to get into some reverse crossover lunges. All right? So coming back into a reverse crossover lunge. Ten. So ten on each side. Take it down. One, two, curtsy lunges. Three, four, five, six, seven. Tummy's in tight. Eight, nine, ten. Keep it going because we're doing ten on each side. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. We're almost there. We're doing a little stretch before we repeat the circuit. So I want you guys to take it down into a nice lunge. Keep that tummy in tight. Right now, we're letting the body settle down into this nice lunge. Don't let that knee come forward. I want that knee right behind that toe. Coming down, come getting some nice deep breaths. We want to allow that heart rate to drop down a little bit, and then we're going to burst it again with one more round. So drop down nice and low. Bring your hands up towards the sky. Inhale. Maybe exhale with a gentle back bend. Just feel that nice body back bend. Feel it, nice stretch back up towards the top. Settle down into that lunge just a little bit more. One more inhale. Exhale, slight little baby back bend. Back up, inhale, settle into that lunge. Nice job. Other side. Woo! My heart rate's through the roof. Through the roof, you guys. 
We're in this together. It's always nice to know that you're not alone. All over the world, we're all in this together, right? So take it down. Nice lunge here, just settle into that. Put the weight in your heel, feel it in this, your hamstring, also in those hip flexors. I know my hip flexors are really sore from all my swimming, so this feels really, really good. Two inhales, bring those hands up overhead, settle into that lunge. Inhale, exhale, gentle back bend, rise up, settle into that lunge. One more, inhale, exhale, gentle back bend, back up. Settle into that lunge, feel that nice stretch, and come up to rise, whoo! All right, you guys, one round down. We have one more to go, plus finishing up those squats. So as you guys see, it doesn't take much to sweat, right? We are in this together. Whatever I have you guys do, I do myself, and this is proving it. I like to lead by example, not just by chatter, and that's what we're doing here is we're all doing this together. So grab some water, hydrate, how you guys feeling? You guys good? You feeling good? Whew. All right, grab some water. Yes, I love it. Feeling good. All right, you guys, we have one more round of that. So you guys know now what it's all about. Now you guys might be able to push yourself a little bit more. Maybe try a different variation. If you're down on those knees for those push-ups, maybe come back up on those toes. All right? Whew. Catch your breath. Mm. All right, you guys, we're going to start with the one minute. One minute, not so much warm up because we're already warmed up. One minute, move your body, make it happen. Woo! All right, let's go. One minute, move. Jumping jacks, dance in place, move your body. High knees, butt kickers, move those arms, shimmy side to side. Get the body going. A little Zumba action. I've never done Zumba. Should give it a try. Move the body, shake it left to right, feel it. Shake it, move it, groove it, keep it going, change it up, full jumping jacks, maybe some full jump ropes. Pick up the pace, jump a little bit more, double step, double jump rope. Have you ever done that? Woo! Just gotta be careful if you're mom. Sometimes you feel a little action down there. You know what I'm talking about, those jump ropes. Woo! All right, keep it going. We got 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Taking it down to that plank. All right, taking it down to that plank, you guys. Come on, take it down, we're in that plank. First things first, ground yourself. Get that strong plank going, okay? Feet are nice and wide. Jump up, jump back, open, shut them, let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, halfway, one, two, woo, three, four, five, woohoo! We did it, nice and big, open up. We got the push up with the side plank. Woo, here we go. You guys ready? Take it down. Push up. Right side body, nice stretch. Take it down. Here's two. Take it up. Here's three. Take it up. Here's four. Take it up. Here's five. Woo! -hoo. Here's six. Take it up. Final four. Here's four. Here we go. And three. Here we go. Last two. Down and up. Last one. Take it down and up left side. Hold that plank here. You guys ready? Jump it up. We got jump squats. All right, I'm gonna do those baby jump squats. Those post jump squats. So baby jump squats, that's what I'm doing, all right? So join me if you're feeling it, come on down. Otherwise do regular body weight squats, but let's go for it, okay? Little hops, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo! Need elbow. This time, we're gonna do one side. So rather than coming across the body, we're gonna do all one side. Here we go. Ten. Let's pick up the pace. Here we go. 
One, two, three, four, crunch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, let's go. One, two, knee up. Three, crunch the abs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Reverse lunge, cross over. Take it back, one, one, ten times. Take it back. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Great job, you guys. Take it down into that nice lunge. Nice little lunge. Starting here, settling in. So you notice I'm not that deep. So just start here, kind of settle in. Feel that nice hip flexor. I love this. I really need this stretch right here. Now settle down a little bit deeper. Totally normal if you feel some tingling in your feet. My feet are tingling right now. So drop it down just a little bit. All right, that leg gets tired, straighten that front leg and then drop it back down into that lunge. I want two breaths, inhale, rise up, inhale, exhale, baby back bend, feel it dip into that lunge, inhale, rise, exhale, baby back bend, maybe dip a little bit lower in that lunge, inhale, nice job, other side, right into that other side, so switch it out, warm up, get into that lunge, just kind of halfway there, now when you feel it, dip down a little bit lower. There we go. Feel that nice stretch. Keep the tummy in tight. I don't want laziness. I don't want this. I want chest lifted, shoulders back, sucking that tummy. Feel yourself dip into that low lunge. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale. Settle down into that lunge. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale and rise up to the top. Woo, all right, that concludes part one of this workout. Now, we gotta finish up with 60 squats because we will have 100 squats for our summer squat challenge, all right? So, we have to finish up strong with our squats. So, here we go, let's make this count. So I'm gonna do three sets of 20, you guys. Any set, any kind of variation you want. So I'm actually gonna take down this TRX band just to show you some sissy squats. But you guys do body weight if you don't have this lovely TRX band hanging in front of your face right now, like most of you guys don't. But if you do, you can even grab a pole, like anything that's gonna hold your body weight. Grab it if you're at the beach, there's a, you know, there's a stair. Grab a pole, you can always do sissy squats. So I'm gonna do 20 like this, going down nice and low. So leaning back, taking it down nice and low. So any variation for 20 squats, okay? Weights all in those heels. I want those weight, the weight in those heels. I want to feel it all in the glutes and hamstrings. As you rise up to the top, squeeze, squeeze the glutes, okay? Because you can do squats all day long, and this is not going to be as effective as if you're really squeezing all the way up. You're going to feel it in the inner thighs, outer thighs, and the maximus. We want to maximize the squats, right? Okay, take it down. Here's 20. Down, squeeze. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it down. Here's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, some jump squats for you guys. We need some jump squats because this is called a workout, so we got to keep that heart rate going. So I'm going to bring those feet together to touch and then out. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! All right, shake it out. 20 more to go. What are we gonna do with these last 20? What are we gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do side to side squats. 
So jumping side, side. So take it down. Here we go, you guys. Last 20, you can do this. Here we go. You're done with this. We grab some water and you can consider it done, done, success, tackled it. And then you can get in your next meal, which for all of you guys that it's like maybe close to noon, perfect time for lunch, closer to three if you're on the East Coast, closer to your snack time, or if you're somewhere else in the world, maybe it's closer to supper time or that, that last meal before bed. So I like to think about that because it's like, we'll do anything for food, right? We'll do anything for food. So let's hit it hard and let's squat deep, squat low. Here we go. Take it side to side. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. Here's ten. Take it low. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Killer job, everyone. Grab your water, catch your breath, maybe stretch it out a little bit. Those glutes are on fire. I know mine are. Pull that leg in, feel that nice stretch in your quads. And then my favorite glute stretch, that figure four. Sit down nice and deep in that figure four. Catch your breath. I'm sweating. You guys sweating? Woo! All right. Stretch it out. Bring that heart rate down. Stretch it out. What a killer workout. I love workouts because they make you sweat. There really is no difference between a workout and a G-Fit workout because the whole point is we get it done in the least amount of time and we really maximize our time for those of us that are busy, don't have time to go to the gym, don't have a lot of time in our day. It's all about efficiency and maximizing that time. Great job, everyone. Yay! I'm so glad. Did you guys, did you guys do it? How do you feel? Don't forget to drink up your water and hydrate. You don't want, you just sweat and it's really hot here, so we wanna make sure we hydrate, fuel that body. All right, awesome job today, you guys. And this is the point. I want you guys to notice the intensity. This is why I'm loving the idea of doing live. So you guys can see the intensity. I don't have a timer on me. Anyone have how long that took? What did it take us, like 15 minutes maybe? Like, that's really all it takes. How much time? What do we have? Great job, Vanessa. Hi, Vicky. Yes, yes, we will get in some lives. I just need feedback from all of you guys. Cause if I'm doing something that's not really working, I wanna know if I'm doing something you guys love, I wanna know that, you guys see the sweat. So this is what it's all about. I want you guys, cause it's like, you know, you can see on a piece of paper and this is what the VIP is all about. You can see on a piece of paper what to do, right? Like you got the UAP, you gotta do this, 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 and this. And you're like, I'm doing it. But are you doing it at the level of efficiency or at the level that we need you to, to really maximize that fat loss? Because I'm the type of person that if you're gonna do it, you need to do it right and do it well right otherwise that's how we get away with doing less so you know people always are asking how do you get away with doing so little how i get all the questions all the time what do you do how do you stay in such great shape and it's really i don't do that much but when i do what i do now let me back up a second i've been doing this for a long time so consistency look at this i'm sweating consistency has been my game i've been doing this and i have been on this road to success for so long this has been my road but I haven't given up. So if you're on this path, like I've been on, then you're going to be able to do less because you're not going to quit. And so many people quit here. This is where they quit because they fall off and they quit and then they have to get back on and they have to start all over. But if you don't ever start all over and you just pick yourself back up, you're going to get here and that is going to allow you to be able to do less. So back to what I was saying. The whole point of the VIP is to push you guys and to teach you the things that I've done myself, that I've proven to be successful, that I've also coached people from all over the world to be successful. But this is what the point is, is that I'm able to really, you see on paper what you're supposed to do. And let's say you're doing that, like you're doing all the workouts exactly as is. You're doing UAP, circuit one, two, you're like on a roll, you're doing everything. But what happens if you're not doing them at the right intensity or if you're doing them all wrong? For example, so I have this one on one uh, client and I sent her a plan and I sent her all of her workouts. They're on paper, she's got them, she's ready to go, she's excited, she's motivated and she's gonna tackle it. And she sends me back a question and she's like, 
So just clarifying, I'm supposed to do all these workouts in one day. Like this, this is my workout. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. That's five workouts that you're supposed to do five times. So five times a week. So you do one workout. So you have two days off. She thought that you did all the workouts. So basically like, I mean, that would take six hours, six hours to do all that. Maybe five hours every day. And you see just by reading on paper, she's not really seen the right way to do things. Or, I mean, she would have been on the ground. I, I, I wouldn't want to have anything to do with that. But see, you have to ask questions and you need to be able to see how truly to do things the most efficient way, effectively. And that's how you're going to be so successful on your plan. So that's what our VIP is all about, is really to show you guys the way, have you ask questions and all that. So I hope you enjoyed our first live workout. Many more to come. I'm sweating and it doesn't take much, you guys, as long as you put in that kind of effort that we just did right there. Does anyone have a timer? Was it like 15 minutes? What was it? Um... Yeah, I mean, the thing is you go at your own pace, Vicki. So like we all have different levels. So, you know, you don't have to go at the level that I'm going at, but maybe you by yourself are doing things at a little less of a pace than you know you can. So it's pushing yourself based on your level. So it's going at your own level, but you'll see like on your own, maybe you're not doing it as much. And then when you have somebody else there coaching you and right there with you, believing in you, you see that you can push yourself a little bit more. And that's the whole point of a trainer, right? Is to kind of help push you and help you just reach your goals that much quicker by making sure you're showing up and make, making sure you're putting in the right uh, form and all those things make a big difference. So it's not about doing too much. It's about doing less, but doing it efficiently. And that's what we are all about right here. All right. So 25 minutes, we're at 25 minutes, but that's with a lot of chatter. So I'd say maybe like 15. If we can get in a workout in 20 minutes, we're good. We're golden, right? All right, you guys. So Pamela, how are you doing? So thank you guys all for joining me. This is going to be on the replay and I'm going to cut out the chatter so you guys just have the workout so you guys can kill it again on your own time at your own level. But thanks for joining me. That was so much fun making it happen. Tomorrow's our Q&A. So if you have any questions, make sure you put them in there and I will be there uh, 11 o'clock a.m. to answer any questions that you guys have. Today's like a, the best day ever because I got to connect with you guys on a Wednesday. Normally it's on Thursday. I'm like... My kids went back to school yesterday. I took Nicolette to get a manicure and she actually, well, I got a manicure and she sat there and I was like, should I do it? Should I do it? I wasn't sure. And then I was kind of feeling it out and she seemed like she was having a good day and she was going to be good. So I went for it and she did amazing. Like this is life changing. The fact that I can take her with me to the nail salon, like that's huge. So yesterday we had that adventure and then today I got to connect with all of you guys and tomorrow I get to connect with you guys again. So it has been a great week. All right, you guys have an amazing day. Drink up lots of water, hydrate, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our Q and A. Thanks for joining me. See you guys soon.